With all the stuff going on right now, I feel like Zoom has become a great free tool and a viable option to create video content from. Obviously the video quality is not going to be as good, so in this episode I want to share with you some settings that can improve the quality of your recorded Zoom video. There are 4 basic settings that will help optimize Zoom for video and post-production work. In this video, I'll go over how to enable them, explain what they're for, and also show you what they look like in a video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro. The first one is record a separate audio file for each participant. To enable this, go ahead and launch Zoom, go to Preferences, and go to Recording, then go ahead and enable it here. What this feature does is when you record a Zoom meeting, Zoom will also now record a separate audio track for each person present in that meeting. For example, in this video recording, there were two people speaking. And as you'll hear, there will be some crosstalk or voice overlap between the two. His name is Ted. <laughs> Who's that? His is name that is a Ted. Is this that a gaming just, thing? From his Ted talk? No, it's not. It's just a funny goofy monster. <laughs> In post-production, when you import the audio files from the recorded Zoom meeting, you'll now have an option to isolate the voice of each person, giving you a cleaner audio for your video. His name is Ted. <laughs> his name is Ted. This was this was from his TED talk. No, it's not. It's just a funny goofy monster. <laughs> the second one is optimized for third party video editor. To enable this, again go to preferences, go to recording, then it's just below the record a separate audio file option. By turning this feature on, Zoom will now encode all recorded video to a more friendly file type for post production. The third one is pin video. What pinning a video does is it tells Zoom to do a recording of only the speaker that is pinned, regardless of who is speaking. In the link itself, there's a phone number that you can dial in. Right, and if yeah. they're on the road and they go ahead and punch in through a phone number, I don't, we don't get video at that point. This is useful if you want a spotlight or get a full screen recording of only the interviewee. This is what a Zoom recording looks like if we don't pin in gallery view. And this is what it looks like in speaker view. The last one is recording in gallery view. Pinning is a great option if you want to record a single person. However, if you want to record multiple speakers, it's best to record a Zoom meeting in gallery view. This way in post-production, you or your editor will have more options in framing and layout. Okay everyone, those are my quick tips. I hope this sparked an idea of how you can utilize Zoom for your own content. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you guys like and subscribe. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.